Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm finally back and today's video about geology degree and what do geologists do. I happen to be a petroleum geologist. I've been working in the petroleum industry for eight years so I thought it would be a very neat video to do about um, geology jobs, uh, what was the degree like and hopefully for people that considering geology as their future profession or maybe like a career path uh, this video will be helpful or if you're just interested what geologists do and uh, what a geology degree is um, stay tuned and I will tell you. So as I mentioned I've been a petroleum geology for eight years now. Now in the past two years I got completely a separate route and opened my own company and it's a different video altogether but Nevertheless, I have been working as a geologist and so I thought I'd share some insight uh, for you. So first thing first is what is geology? Well, geology is an earth science that studies earth history, processes, materials and how it all um, affects our environment. Some geologists do study other planets like Mars and whatever, like extra extraterrestrial uh, things, but same principle apply. Um, one big misconception about geologists is a lot of people when they ask me what do I do and I say oh well I'm a geologist, I have a geology degree, they automatically assume that I am some sort of um, like I don't know hippie with a hammer and a heart, ha heart hat and I am out in the field somewhere in the mountains for six months out of the year looking for I don't know gold and while that can be true um, it's not it does not apply to all geologists out there. So if you are considering a degree in geology, if you're considering career in geology, just be aware that there's so many things, different things that you can do with a geology degree. Depending on where you are in the world, uh, your university might offer different programs for geology. So for me, I am I am in Canada, in Alberta, and Alberta is uh, like a petroleum province. There's a lot of petroleum activity going on. And as a result, the universities in Alberta offer petroleum programs for geology. So I happen to be a petroleum geologist, but my university also offered uh, environmental geology, geochemistry, geophysics, um, what, what else did they offer? Hydrogeology are, were all options in geology degree. Others, univers other universities offer like a hard rock geology stream, uh, seismology, volcanology, um, planetary geology. So those are all different streams and every stream uh, once you graduate you'll be doing very different things. So now for me personally because I graduated with petroleum concentration so I have bachelor of science in geology with petroleum concentration I worked for oil and gas companies and my job was to look for oil and gas and to advise companies where we should drill the next well for best chance of extracting oil and gas. Now, if you are interested specifically in how geologists find oil and gas, um, then comment below, give me a like, and I will do a very like a completely separate video because it's a huge topic and I can talk about it forever and ever. But um, uh, this video is more kind of like a general overview. So next thing, if you are considering degree in geology, just be aware that you have to like being outdoors to a degree. What I mean by that is almost any geology program that I know of requires you to take field courses. So my geology program specifically required us to take three field courses. Each field course was 10 days long uh, where we stayed in different accommodations. So for some field courses we had to stay in tents, others we uh, rented a motel or like a hotel and you would leave your accommodations early in the morning, 7 a.m., go up in the mountains, up in the field, do the field work and then come back at night close to dinner like 7 or 8 p.m. when it was getting dark. Now during the day it required you uh, some physical activity so we would hike sometimes up to six hours a day um, sometimes in a very steep terrain so you can you have to like uh, that type of activity. Now once I graduated 80% uh, of my work was in office 
staring at a computer so I didn't have to go outside at all but 20% still involved traveling so and uh, the company would send me either to the rig where when we were drilling a well I would have to be present and collect rock samples uh, other times they would send me on field courses for like continuing education purposes and I would have to go and do field work as well now with that one absolutely positive thing about geology is traveling so if you are if you love to travel geology might be a degree for you because I got to travel as a geologist probably um, more than I could ever imagine I would in my lifetime. Not only did I get to travel all over the world, it also was paid, so it was free. I got to travel on company's dime because they would send me to courses. Some courses were um, in class courses, so like a lot of classes for geology offered in out of Houston, so we would go to Houston a lot of the times in US. But a lot of courses were field work and so I got to travel all over USA, I got to travel to England, we did um, in Isle of Wight, we did like a fantastic course. And so that's one thing to consider. Now if you like that kind of things, if you like to hike, if you like being outdoors, if you don't mind to be in like searing heat hiking, then it's definitely for you. If you listen to me and you're like, ugh, like I hate hiking, I don't like to stay intense, like I just it does not sound like me at all, then maybe geology is not right for you. But do consider that once you graduate, you don't have to be in the field. Um, like I said, some streams, so if you are a well site geologist, you have to be on a well site outside most of the time. But if you are a petroleum geologist like myself, like I said, 80% of the time I was inside in the office staring at my computer. So it just depends what stream you choose. Uh, prospecting geologists, not all of, some of them sit in the office. Like if you're looking for gold, it's the same thing. You're staring at a computer, staring at logs coming in. But if you are prospecting geologists for uranium, I have some friends that go out in the field for six months out of the year and they um, look for a, like a uranium rich ore or whatever. So just be mindful, you have to like outside. Uh, next thing, next misconception about geologists is that, is that geologists don't do math. Um, that's not entirely true. A lot of the friends that I graduated with, they, the only reason they picked geology is because they were not sure between engineering and geology and they picked geology because they don't like math and they thought in geology you're not going to do math at all. Now it is true you're not going to be doing a lot of math in geology, it's like definitely less than in engineering degree, but you still will be doing math. We had to take three classes, three math classes, two of which were like advanced math or advanced calculus and a linear algebra. We also had to take chemistry, physics and geochemistry classes. So uh, some classes are more math heavy, others not like Structural geology was very math heavy uh, and now that I work, I used to work as a geologist I still had to do math because as a petroleum geologist it was my responsibility to calculate reserves, to calculate how much oil or gas or both the well will uh, produce so it all involved math so just be mindful that if you are going to geology there's still some math, it's not as much math in some other degrees but there's enough of it. Next point about geology is if you are not an office person and you don't want to be in the office, geology offers a great opportunity to be in science and to be in academics. So if you are considering going in to like do your master's and PhD, there is absolutely fantastic um, availabilities for very cool research to do. For example, one of the coolest researches I've done, I was an undergraduate at the time, but I worked with a professor and I did planetary geology and I studied Mars, Mars stratigraphy. We used NASA satellite images to do that. I also did the research on meteorites. So I got to uh, hold and study meteorites, not just one, I studied like over 10 samples, different ones, and we did a research paper on it, get to present it. And so if you are going into geology and you think you'll, you want to be a professor someday or want to stay in academics, geology, gives you a really nice foundation for that and also depending again what stream of geology you pick you some if you like studying something related to petroleum industry a lot of the time petroleum industry would give you huge grants to do your research and you get to travel and um, 
get paid for it quite good money. So that's one thing to consider as well. And uh, finally, one thing about geology, so those were like majority of those points before was really, really positive. This one is, I don't want to say negative, but it's something to consider is geologists have sort of a limit for relocation. Uh, again, depending what type of geologist you are, if you are a petroleum geologist, if you're considering petroleum geologist, be mindful that you are limited to like petroleum hubs for relocation. So if you like to travel, um, you might be limited to travel to certain cities only. And that's because petroleum industry is not everywhere. There's like this big hubs cities all over the world where you can go to find a job in, petrol in petroleum industry. But if you're trying to go, so for example, in Canada, Alberta is an oil and gas uh, province. But if I want to go to like West Coast to Vancouver, there's almost no oil companies there. So no one's gonna hire me as a petroleum geologist because they just don't need me there. And so I am limited to, tr to for relocation to like those hubs, like in US it's Houston and Midland, like Texas. In Australia it's Perth, right? So it just depends. So be mindful. Um, if you like to travel and not be limited by uh, like being constrained where you can, uh, environmental geology is probably one, um, a good choice for you because environmental geology has been picking up in past couple years because people get more aware and are more aware of environment and they hiring environmental geologists more and more and a lot of different industries require environmental geologists not just petroleum industry uh, so you're more versatile in that regard as well as like so if you want to prospect for gold there's only so many places on earth right like you can prospect for gold or if you want to study volcanoes well there's only so many places with volcanoes so just be mindful when you pick your stream uh, of your job prospects that brings me to my last point is salary i'm sure a lot of you are interested like okay so what do geologists do now that varies a lot depending on where you are in the world so obviously um Petroleum industry does pay quite well, uh, and that's from personal experience. Uh, petroleum uh, jobs can start anywhere from fifty-five thousand all the way to a hundred thousand to start, and so it just depends again where you are. Other industries pay a little less, but um, I don't want money to be the only reason you pick geology. It shouldn't be the only reason why you pick geology degree. Uh, is for money only because in the oil a lot of people pick oil petroleum geology because of the money aspect because they think oh I'm gonna graduate and make big bugs uh, right from the start and it might be true but also if you hate geology and you don't like field work you don't like science and you go into petroleum geology you're gonna once you graduate, you that's what you do is science. And if you don't like it, um, you just not gonna have a good time. And also be mindful that petroleum industry specifically is very cyclical and it highly depends on oil and gas prices. So when the oil and gas prices rise, um, the industry is booming, everything is great, your job is exciting, you drill wells. As soon as the price oil uh, oil price drops, um, that's when it's not so much fun anymore. Then you see people getting laid off. Then you start getting worried. Oh, well, am I next to be laid off? So just be mindful of that. Don't pick petroleum geology just for the money uh, aspect of it. So look into it. Other industries paid quite well as well. And the best thing to do is if you kind of trying to see uh, what your uh, salary expectations can be uh, google it because some uh, like in canada you can there's a registry you can look up kind of an average for all professions what you expect to get from geology or other professions as well now with that this is already starting to get really really long i hope you enjoyed this video if you are interested in geology or if you're interested in what i'm doing now and it's not geology. Follow me on follow me on Instagram. Give me a like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.